Hey guys, how's it going? So today I decided to talk about my 1959 Jazzmaster. Uh, you've seen it in my videos, I get a lot of questions about this guitar. So I figured I'd just answer some questions about where I got it, what's in it, all the different components that I know about. Um, so this is a early 1959. I don't have an exact date. I think it's January or February of 59. Um, you can tell it's early because it's got the gold pit guard. Um, this obviously is not the original finish. It probably was originally a sunburst, almost guaranteed. There were a handful of like see-through white ones from that era, but I certainly doubt that this is one of them. Um, it was probably originally sunburst, like I said, and it was refinished, I would guess in the 70s, because there is some aging on the back. You can see definite like belt buckle wear going on here, um, and just aging throughout the entire finish of the guitar. But so it was refinished, both neck and body. The neck has this gorgeous flame to it. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but I love the flame on this neck, it's awesome. Uh, actually, it's almost more of a quilt than a flame. I would say it's a quilted maple neck. Very lightly quilted, it's not super heavy. So, um, But original gold guard, uh, when I took it to Norm's, they didn't believe me that it was the original gold guard because there's almost no greening, no oxidization on the pick guard which is super uncommon. Normally these pit guards oxidize and go green, especially in this region right here. There's some definite wear patterns, but if you pull off the pit guard, the original signature is under there with the original masking tape and everything. They were really impressed that that was actually original. So the story about it was I saw this guitar online, um, on Guitar Center online, and thought, oh, that's a cool guitar, but it was way out of my price range. Um, and so I didn't make a move. I had had a previous Jazzmaster that I'll do another video about. We'll talk about that one. That was my first Jazzmaster. Um, but this one I saw online was like, wow, that is a gorgeous, or actually, I didn't think it was gorgeous. I thought it was hideous. The, the way they photographed it made it look like super banana yellow, which it probably looks pretty banana yellow here. Um, but it was, it definitely looked very yellow. And I was like, eh, not my thing, but, and it was way too expensive for me at the time. And uh, so wrote it off. A few months later, I go to that guitar center when I'm actually looking for a 59. Probably six months later. I was looking for an actual 1959 or early 60s Jazzmaster because I'd had my other one for six years or so and I, it was my main guitar and I decided I should probably just buy a vintage version of it so that I can have a really nice one. Um, so I played a few. I played a 61 at Imperial Vintage that was amazing. Uh, it was white with the Tortoise Guard original custom color. Great guitar totally out of my price range. Um, but then I went to the Guitar Center looking and I saw this one as the one I had seen pictures of. It looked way less yellow uh, in person. It looks a little more cream and a little yet less banana yellow. Um, and I asked, hey, can I play it? And they pulled it down. It was about half the price of what they'd originally listed. Turns out they overpriced things while they figure out if, you know, original color, original finish, whatever. So they can determine how much it's actually worth then they put it on uh, a price of what they think it's actually worth after they've appraised it. But they hadn't appraised it yet, so they just priced it out of the range that anyone would ever pay for this guitar. So no one would buy it. Then once they got it appraised, they lowered it. So it was at a much lower price that was really close to my range. <clears throat> and so I was like, can I play it? So they got it down and uh, I started playing and immediately nothing works. The switch doesn't work, it's nothing. So I'm like, okay. But then I flipped the rhythm switch <clears throat> rhythm switch works perfectly and it sounds amazing. So if you know the Jazz Masters, it's just the neck pickup with just these controls. And I was like, this guitar has a lot of potential. I would be really curious. So I said, hey, if I put $1,000 down on it right now, can I have you reserve it, fix the problem, and I'll come back in a few days once you fixed it and decide if I want it or not. And they were like, absolutely. They fixed it, called me when it was fixed. I came and played it <clears throat> and I was just like stunned at how good it was. Original bridge, original pickups, all the original electronics, original neck, it had the original frets, original tuners, original tremolo, tremolo bar, tremolo system. Everything was original with the exception of the finish. And so I was like, okay, this thing is really, really special. Um, pulled off the pick guard, took a look under original pickups. Um, everything's signed like it should be. And I was just, I, I loved it. It played great. Um, and it's got a really slim profile neck. I don't know if you can see that. It's a really thin neck, which I, for someone who has big hands, I actually like a smaller neck profile. It feels more natural to me. 
So I kind of fell in love with it <clears throat> and ended up buying it that day, taking it home. And yeah, besides that, it's 1000 meg pots or 1k pots. Um, what else? Standard switch, standard rhythm circuit. Uh, the only things I've changed on it since I bought it, I put on a mastery bridge, still have the original in the case, came with the original case too, which is really cool. Um, original trim system, different trim arm. The other trim arm sat really high. It was sitting about like, so like this one sits like this. So it was sitting about up here. And I was like, eh, that's kind of unplayable. It was fine, but it didn't go in all the way. It didn't like rest well. Um, and so I just said, you know, I'm just gonna buy an American standard trim arm and it fits just fine. It fits better than the actual original one. So I was just like, eh, I'm just gonna go with the American reissue from, you know, last year. Uh, then as soon as I got it, the frets were so pitted out and old, I just took it to my guitar tech um, and had had her refret the whole thing. And it was honestly made a world of difference because I'm not a purist. So I know a lot of people out there are purists. Um, maybe if I had gotten an original finish, something like that, I would want it to remain a little more original. But this thing was well loved, clearly. It's been refinished. The neck has also been refinished in a like a poly. It's not quite a nitro. So yeah, I got it set up like that. New nut, new frets, uh, mastery bridge, and the new trim arm. Everything else, totally stock. And this has been my main guitar for how many years now? I got it in 2016, I think. So since 2016. So it's been four, four years that I've had this guitar and used it pretty much every day. Um, workhorse guitar, great instrument. Um, this is part of the reason I've fallen even more deeply in love with jazz masters um, but if you have any other questions about this instrument i it's basically stock the frets i had it refretted with were the exact same size that it had originally so those are kind of small frets um trying to think of any other details that would be important that you guys would be curious about or want to know about but it's basically all stock besides aesthetic stuff and just play stuff so in my opinion i think guitars are meant to be players i'm a professional musician so I wanted it to play well. I wanted it to be something that I like was excited to pick up and excited to play. And so refretting it, doing the mastery bridge, um, things like that, to me didn't hurt the value. Uh, I don't plan on selling it. So I wanted it to be something that I could use every day and have it be consistent and intonated properly and just feeling the best it can possibly feel. And it does. I literally use this guitar every day and it's like my best friend. So. There's the 59 Jazzmaster. I will do a video soon on the white 62 reissue that I originally bought. That one has a lot more modifications and that one's a good time. So until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.